Welcome back to our series, How to Share the Gospel of Joy. I'm Thomas Smith with the Great Adventure team, and we're here in the stunning Cathedral of the Madeline in Salt Lake City, Utah. You know, there's nothing quite as powerful as a story. Since time began, cultures and peoples have made sense of their lives through stories. And I believe that's because God hardwired us for stories. And that's why we look and long for them. He chose to reveal his purposes and plans to us, not through just dropping some divine document out of heaven, but through an unfolding journey of joy. We, we call that the story of sacred scripture. As we learn that story revealed in the 73 books of the Bible, we make another amazing discovery. And it's that that story is in fact our story. We get to finish the continuing story of God at work in the world in our own lives. And that's why it's so important that we know that story well so that we can help others enter it. It's the goal really at the heart of the whole Great Adventure Bible Study program. Our story, our personal journey of faith is part of God's saving message. And through our story, just like through the Bible, people can meet Christ and discover meaning in their lives. So never underestimate the power of your story. But before we become storytellers, we have to be good story listeners. We need to create a personal dialogue with others that is authentic and real, where they can share their joys, their hopes, their concerns with us. As Pope Francis has said, there, others must have the, the experience of being listened to and understood before we can ever fruitfully share the word of God with them. So one of the best ways we can participate in the new evangelization is being a people who listen to other stories. I travel a lot. I'm on the road about 180 days out of the year. And frequently on airplanes, once I've developed some rapport with the person sitting next to me, I'll often ask, I'd love to hear your spiritual journey. Will you share it with me? You know, in all the hundreds of times I've asked that question, I've never had someone say no. And what's so powerful about that kind of dialogue is it opens the door of reciprocity to then in turn share my story with them. In fact, we're exhorted to do that in sacred scripture. I, I love how St. Peter put it in his first letter nearly 2,000 years ago. In 1 Peter 3.15, it says, Be ready always to give an answer to anyone who asks you a reason of the hope that's in you with gentleness and reverence. One of the challenges then that I've been offering to Catholics is to compose their basic spiritual journey of joy. To answer the question, why am I a Catholic? When did my spiritual journey begin? How has my faith sustained me through times of great difficulty or grief? It doesn't even need to be long, a hundred words or less. That's a, a simple paragraph. But what writing it down does is it helps us to be very clear and concise about our story. And then we commit that to memory, not in some robotic way, but so it can be communicated confidently to others. Once you do this, I can promise you, you'll be amazed at how many opportunities you will have to then share that story because you've demonstrated to the Lord that you are ready always to give an answer. Remember, we aren't imposing our story upon others, but simply proposing it. We're looking for those natural moments in everyday conversations when we can share that saving story, our story, with another. And you don't have to be a convert to have a story that touches hearts. Your personal journey of faith, your journey of joy will impact and touch people in ways that my story never can. And because your story is God's story, we can trust the Lord for the results. We simply plant the story like a seed. Paul understood this when he was speaking to the Corinthians, he said, I planted, Apollos came along later and watered, but it's God who brings the harvest. I'm in the Catholic Church today in part because people like you who loved Christ and his church shared their story with me. So to sum up, be a people who know the story of salvation so we can lead others into that story. Be story listeners to discover others' real concerns, needs, and struggles. And, and finally, be storytellers Trust that God can use our story to bless, to heal, and to help others. In our final session together, we're going to explore three simple things that every Catholic can do to answer the church's call to be missionary disciples. So I'll see you then.